Hello, my friends. Sorry for the noise in the background. So, gotta get everything going. Thank you for joining me. Hang on, gotta get the comments in. Here we are. Hi, Nina. Thank you for joining me. That's sweet. Guys, welcome, welcome. My name is Angela, and I am the owner and creator of Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixieville over here in Frankfurt in Germany. Um, yeah, it is uh, the noise in the background is the heating. I'm in my second studio, which is down in the basement. So uh, it's a little loud. So it, it'll turn off in a second and I uh, hope it's not too bad. So this is my last live in uh, 2020. Um, and I thought I'm going to, you know, do that together with you. It is, uh, it is actually 10 p.m. over here in, in Germany, in Frankfurt. So uh, it's only two hours to go to the new year. Hallo Grete, schön, dass du da bist. So this, this is uh, quite of exciting for me to, to, um, to do that together with you. So guys, um, as we don't uh, are allowed to have any, hi Michelle, it's good to see you. As we um, are not allowed to have uh, any fireworks tonight, um, I thought I'm going to make my own firework and I've got this uh, old um, side table, it's got rolls and it's old and damaged and stuff like that. So this is going to be a colorful piece, guys. So uh, thank you for joining me. Whenever you join, just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. That'll be absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't done it yet, please follow my page. Hello, Anya. Please follow my page. I tagged it um, at the top, so that'll be fantastic. Okay. The colors I've chosen for this piece is loads of colors. Again, this is something where you can use up uh, if you have leftovers and stuff like that. Instagram, I'm going to move you over. You can see the piece. It's more important than I am. And I'm going to bring you a little closer in a second. Also, I want to do some stenciling with one of the new stencils from Pixie Bell, the um, Hell's Tooth. I think that's what it, what's it called and pronounced um, from Pixie Bell. That's a new one. This is going to be used. And the frame I've already started on the side is going to be in caviar in black. And uh, I'm first going to lay down a base coat in Florida orange, um, just to have like a coat for my for my colors. I'm going to blend on there at the end. And I've already started on the side, so I see how far I can get tonight. As uh, I usually am not around here, I'm more in Frankfurt at the moment. Um, there's my shop and stuff like that, so um, I'm not having much time to come here. So, but um, I'm first going to put down the, the base of Florida Orange on the top here also, and then we will blend loads of colors. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see what I am doing. So, do you have anything oops, uh, planned for tonight? So over here, you're not allowed to visit friends and have parties. And uh, this uh, this is a very high Becky. This is a very um, a very different year this year. So, um, but um, we'll get through it. We we'll do it together. So, um, okay. I've got my Mister Bottle also. I've prepared this piece, guys, because you can see this is uh, some sort of um, pine. Um, and you can see all those dark spots, you know, those um, where the branches, where those things are about to bleed through. And uh, even this is going to be very colorful. Um, I want to control it. <laughs> and so that's the reason I've bossed it with the boss clear. And um, yeah, I'm just putting down the base coat. Um, Chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell. This is the Florida orange I'm using at the moment. I want to have a bright base coat that you probably won't see much at the end of, but even so, just to have something to work on. So Chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell. They are VOC free. You can, you know, especially at the moment uh, over here, it's cold. We had snow today. Uh, you can use it inside as they are VOC free, they are water-based, so um, that's easy. So, first coat, you apply them. This is um, 
one of the brushes by Dixie Bell. I'm working with the mini angle at the moment. Um, I promise you, it is the mini angle. You can't see any writing on there anymore. Um, Boss in Clear. Um, Boss in Clear sollte an für sich hier. Welche, welche Größe? An für sich habe ich alles da. An für sich habe ich alles da. Oder meinst du die ganz große Becky? Das, da bin ich mir jetzt nicht ganz sicher, aber ich weiß, ähm, 8 und 16 sind auf jeden Fall da. Schreibt mir mal in die Kommentare, was fehlt. Ansonsten muss ich gucken. Ich bin mir sicher, es ist alles da. Um, okay. Hi Patricia, thank you for joining. Hi Dana. Uh, the most luxury restaurant with special clothes. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> So this is uh, about the same here. The reason I went over here to, to Marburg now is uh, because um, my sweetheart, he lives, uh, he's got his uh, old mom in his house. So we didn't want to leave her uh, alone tonight. So I said, I'm going to come over. I'm going to do the live over here. And um, but I wanted to do it anyway. So this is the last live for this year. And I know it's for a lot of people a strange year. So I thought, why don't we do that together? So let's see. That's some don't want to have. Okay. I shall dry that quickly and then we can continue. Ugh. Hang on, guys. So, uh, okay. Oh, okay, Michelle. <laughs> So this is um, I on stream, you know, as I'm streaming the stream out, I can see all the comments, so I don't exactly know which page you are on, so um, that's it. Make sure it's, um, hang on, just let it get, um, Instagram is having an issue again, I think. Now it's on. Okay, sorry Instagram, you're a little late, but um, I think there was some sort of trouble with the connection down here. As I said, I am in the... Hi Jill! <laughs> Wherever you are guys, I'm so happy you're with me. And again, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Put it in the comments. So let's see. We're going to do our own firework. Sorry, it's cold down here, so it takes a little longer. The chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell, they dry pretty quick anyway. So whenever you do your own projects, um, just... Uh, Let them dry on their own. Because a great benefit about the chalk mineral paints is also they have a built-in um, base coat and top coat. So the only thing, and to you, Michelle, that's sweet. Um, you don't really have to prepare your piece uh, and, um, apart from uh, apart from cleaning it really nicely. You know, because if there's any there's any dirt or dust or grease or whatever on there um that's uh, nothing's going to stick to it and the reason i've used boss you can still see it um the florida orange hasn't got the the coverage like the other paints but uh, that's enough for me for a base uh you can still see like uh, where the branches came off you know this is pine and uh, those are going to be to bleed through so i use boss as a as a base coat at the moment so let's see we have loads of colors we have loads of colors we're going to do a little bit of blending um and i'm going to use probably just one or two brushes for it uh, so that's the reason i'm going to put the some of the paint on the plate because i don't want to contaminate the containers that much like uh, i usually don't do that but um 
as I said, this I didn't bring all my stuff, you know, otherwise I couldn't move my whole studio over here. And uh, obviously I don't have my all my brushes and stuff like that twice. Um, they actually do cost me money also. <laughs> so I'm firstly um, mixing up the colors. Uh, that's what you should do. I didn't do it with the Florida orange because I just used it before for the um, where my baby wipes. Nobody moves. Here they are. I have to get everything sorted here. There's a bin missing here at the moment also. <laughs> so I'm just drawing everything on the floor. It's a complete mess around here. Whatever. So you're not seeing that. So. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> so how do you celebrate in Norway? So now the situation is that your area over here, we're not uh, allowed to have any um, fireworks and stuff like that. So it'll be a little different this year, but nevertheless, the main thing is, uh, oh, hi, sis. There's my sis, Suzanne. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> so, so is this my last life for... 2020 it is only two hours to go to the new year so i thought i'm going to spend the last hour with you or the, the last hour before whatever oh you know what i mean <laughs> i still have one hour to go then after we are finished so mixing up all the colors first and then we see where we go I have uh, evergreen with me, I have uh, cobalt blue with me, I have honky tonk red with me. I want to have all bright colors. I miss you too, sweetie. I miss you too. Oh, God. So, um, got all bright colors. And as I said, uh, we're not allowed to do any fireworks, so I'm going to paint my own firework. And there's going to be some stenciling on top. We're going to blend those colors somehow together. This time I'm not layering, this time I am blending them. So I've brought also my Mr. Bottle. So, and this is um, Michelle, I learned it. Thank you for teaching me. This is an icing spatula I'm using for mixing it up. So, um, uh, okay, you're allowed to have fireworks. So over here, they weren't allowed to to sell fireworks and nothing. So this is um, this is going to be different. So Florida orange, we already had out. I do have uh, kernel mustard as yellow, which is going to go in there. And the I have fluff for to 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 do the stenciling with the with the um, hounds tooth. Uh, brush, uh, stencil, sorry, ah, concentrate, concentrate. I've got peony. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I'll see where it's going to go. So as I said, this is a perfect project. Also, if you, um, if you, oh, hang on, I'm making a mess. If you have leftovers and stuff like that, <laughs> lately I'm doing quite a few projects, uh, with, um, where you can use up your leftovers. Oh, yes. Not much paint left of, of any color or whatever, so this is perfect. You don't need much uh, of those Pixie paints anyway, because they are very, very rich and they one jar goes a long way. So yeah, Peony, it's like loads of bright colors and then we'll get going. Let's see. Just gonna clean that on my trousers. So, got musket in mine, but I think that's uh, too dark for me. I'm going to leave that to the side with the fluff. And um, I've got plum crazy. That's probably too too much. Then we see because when we mix those colors, that'll be uh, there will come out some other colors anyway. Okay, where do I put them all? I'll put them at the bottom there. Can you see everything, guys? I think I'm going to put something on the plate. So I'm just going to pour some out. Um, this will be tricky. 
just the blob. Funky tongue bread. Funky tongue bread. Some of the peony. Let's see how we go there. Some of the peony and some of the Florida orange on here. This is already a nice mixture, I think. So, there we go. It's on the floor. Ugh. Mess already. Complete mess already. Hi, my Nase. Oh, Jill. Has many years experience now, baby kittens. I'm done. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's the reason I'm not. Um, it's not too bad. Of I think I'm quite happy that there's no um, no fireworks. You know, for all the the fur babies out there, as they oops, uh, are usually pretty scared. So nice green, nice green. <laughs> uh, put that down. Uh, Umi and I, we just had some lovely dinner. So, cobalt blue, I've already mixed. Yes, I did. I can see. Pour some out here. So, okay. What's the weather like where you are? Thank you, Linda. So, okay. Let's get some color going. Let's get some color going. Got to find a brush, another brush. First, I have to apologize. As I said, I am in my second studio, so I'm not um, quite set at the moment. I brought some of the stuff with me, but obviously not uh, everything. So I've got um, an oval medium. I'm going to basically see if I want to have some some more transitions and I've got uh, a mini brush here which I'm using for the colors and uh, as I said I'm not going to change the the brush I'm going to use a separate I've got a Mr. Bottle to um, miss the project and to get the paint moving and need another hand so there we go Let's see how we start. I'm going to start with some evergreen up here. Some evergreen up there. And a little bit there. Oops. And a little bit there. So let's make our own firework. So cobalt blue my next color I want to mix into it so when mixing colors and doing um, ombre um, or painting ombres it's about um, the closer the paints or the colors are together the easier they are to blend so while this is going to be a crazy mixture anyway, so I'm moving right over the evergreen with the cobalt and the other way around to mix those together. And if the paint also here starts dragging, I'm just gonna go over it with the, with my Mr. Bottle. I wanna have a little bit more cobalt. I just pick up a little bit more cobalt. So uh, usually I have for every for every color a brush, but uh, I don't have it over here. So this is uh, still giving us a quite interesting um, a quite interesting effect. So now I want to come in with the kernel mustard, which I didn't put out yet. I'm going to put that. Um, let's see. I'm going to put that on on a separate plate. Are you using the kernel mustard? Am I using the kernel mustard? No, I don't think. No, I don't want to have the kernel mustard yet. I'm going to come in with the Florida orange. Mr. Bottle, Florida orange. 
which I have on here. So let's see if this is going to make a complete mess or what is going to happen. This is making another green. Pick it up a little more. If it gets too muddy, I'm just going to get over with another color. So that's fine for me at the moment. Same thing up here. This is the base for our for the, um, I'm going to come in with some honky tonk right now. This is the base for my stenciling I'm going to do in a minute. So this, those colors are basically just peeking through. Honky tonk red, red and blue gives you some purple. So um, there will be some quite interesting, some quite interesting color mixtures now but this is the intention of the whole thing so honky tonk over here to cover that up so there we go make sure i've got everything nicely covered So this is the intention about it that there's like um, there's almost like a rainbowy type of um, of thingy happening here at the end. So it looks wild. It looks completely wild, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> and to you, Nina. Hi, Lisa. So uh, what's the time, Nina? Where you are? What's the time there? Is it a rainy New Year? No. So I'm going to come in with some peony, mix it in there also and get those colors nicely mixed up with, with each other to create an interesting little peony over here. So that's the idea behind it. A little bit more of evergreen down here. And again, you know, um, painting an ombre like this, I'm hardly touching the surface. I'm keeping the surface moist and um, Yeah. And always say it's like like butterfly kisses, you know, I'm hardly touching the surface. And you can see the colors moving nicely into each other, which is the whole idea about it. And uh, green or blue and red gives purple. So that's what happened, what's happening here. But it's a quite interesting mixture. So what do you think? Wild? Pretty wild, isn't it? I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you want to have some areas a little bit more blended, very gently, hardly touching the surface, going right across. So I think that's fine. That's what I'm going for. What do you think? 2.23 p.m. Okay, so you've got loads of hours to go. It is um, 25 past 10 p.m. over here. So it's only one and a half hour for us to go, which is pretty exciting. So that's it. And um, the frame is going to be painted in black and caviar. I'm going to do that. Put that to the side. Let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna come in with the caviar so you can get like the whole basically see what it's about about to be at the end. I've used that earlier because I prepared that piece already. So don't worry, it looks wild, but it's going to be fun as soon as the stencil is um, going on there. 
Kavia um, is the Black by Hallo Ute. <lacht> ja, das ist doch wunderbar. Das ist, hier ist wenigstens lustig, Ute. <lacht> so, uh, for everybody who is on, on their own, just join me. It's much more fun than TV and stuff like that. So, uh, yes, this, the next year is going to be fantastic for all of us. This is my biggest wish. For you all, you know, that the next year will be that all your wishes come true and uh, you have loads of health and love and success. And um, that, that's my biggest wish I have for you guys. So, and that we have um, a lot or many more projects together. That'll be fun. I'd love to have that. So, okay, guys. So, caviar is mixed. Um, oh, put that down there. And as I said, the frame. To the frame, I didn't do anything. This is the frame is just cleaned. I've only bossed the the middle because I don't want to have um, the stenciling is going to be with uh, with some white. So I don't want to have um, any bleed throughs by that. Um, by those uh, pine uh, branches and stuff like that because uh, pine is known for being a bleeder and this piece definitely would be this is uh, so I've basically um, bossed the just the middle piece here to make sure this stays clean not the frame because uh, this is going to be painted in caviar and um, 10.30, are you you're about the same time like um, like we are in Germany? Okay. So as this is caviar and um, if it bleeds through, you won't see it anyway. So that's fine for me. So the frame was only cleaned nicely and the middle part I've used, um, I've used Boss in Clear basically to show you. You can use boss in white, you can use the new boss in, in gray, whatever. But, uh, and if I'm getting any of the caviar onto the piece itself now, it doesn't matter because that'll be, that'll go with the, basically with the, with the project itself. I can do, if I want to do it nicely, I'm probably going to do that. In a second, I am going to use an artist brush just to go around the, the frame there. Let's do that for now. That's the time. So I'll just lay that down. You won't get the second coat on the on the outside frame, but uh, I want you to see basically what it's going to be at the end and that you can paint straight away onto the wood. You don't need any preparation apart from cleaning. That works perfectly fine with the, the Dixie Bell paints. So also here, this is uh, the, um, this is the mini I'm using here also. So nice coverage, first coat, just going to move to the other side. And, um, go you paint with the with the wood grain that's what you usually do that works best you can see there's some chips and stuff like that on this table so this is has many years of heavy usage so to say heavy usage so um okay Anybody on Instagram with me? Is jemand auf Instagram mit dabei? So. That's it. The caviar is going to be um, a second coat also. Just going to lay that out. There we go. So, outside 
right here. And then the whole piece is covered in paint for now. If it needs a second coat of the um, caviar, that's no problem. So, can always do that later. But that's it for now. So you can, you can get like an idea of the, the final vision. So now I'm going to dry that because it is it is cold down here. So um, we need to have that. Uh... Yes, Linda, I actually did. I was I was very busy um, on New Year's Eve. You know, I had my usual lives. Oh, New Year's Eve on Christmas Eve, I had my usual lives. On the first Christmas day, I went over here to Manfred and his mom to see them. And the second uh, day I was back home and I started uh, finally doing uh, a website for my sweetheart um, as he sells um, motorbike uh, decoration parts. So CNC parts. So this was uh, waiting for ages now that I'm doing him his own website. So I started that on the second uh, Christmas day. The page is almost finished. Not quite finished yet, but uh, I came quite a bit on the way. There's also my website I built on my own. It's like the Northern Lights. I told you, yeah, you're right, you know, this is um, my own firework. <laughs> yeah, true. I quite like those colors together. So as I said, guys, when you paint, just let the paints dry on their own. You know, they dry pretty quickly. It's just because uh, it's cold down here and I want to get going so you can see something happening. I'm drawing it with a heat gun at the moment. So I don't use for all the colors just one brush. Evergreen, it's total blue, it's Florida orange, it's um, peony, it's Honky Kong red. So all the colors which really wouldn't go together. <laughs> so all the colors that really wouldn't go together, but we make them, we make them go together. So now this is going to be fun. We're using one of the new stencils by Ixibel, the Hounds, Hounds, Shoes, how, how do you pronounce that? Hounds, Shoes. Whatever, you know what I mean? So, and this is about that we have um, floor. Those stencils, they are nice and thick. So um, they're very durable. You can clean them afterwards. So they are lovely. They are nice and thick. So which way am I going? Which way am I going? So, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it that way. This is just about going to fit on here. So it's probably going to bleed through under those edges, which um, because I can't lay it flat down as you can see, but I am absolutely not worried about that. This is completely fine for me for this project. I may even send it down afterwards, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, one thing I did bring with me is my oops, my stenciling brush for lazy people, which is this one. <laughs> this is enormous. Oh. Oh, that's good. You got a heat gun. That's great. This is, um, well, this is, uh, makes life a lot easier. Oops, what's happening here? Somebody falling down. Uh-huh. No. 
That's sweet, but uh, my sweet are just bringing me some scissors to cut the stencil down. I'm not cutting that stencil down. Nine, he's toyer. <laughs> so um, the stenciling is going to be, I'm going to use some fluff just to calm the whole thing down because I want to have like the firework basically peeking through at the end. Michelle, I am at my sweetheart in Marburg. I'm down in his basement where I have my... Um, where I have my second studio, which is down in this basement uh, next to the heating system. So it goes off now and then. I'm sorry for the noise, guys, but um, that's... Um... Hello, Tatiana. Oh, somebody is... Uh... <laughs> no, the stencil is not sticky. It's not sticky. This is a normal stencil. So if you want to have it sticky, you've got to put some... Um, you've got to put some... You've got to put some spray glue on there or something like that, you know, so repositionable glue, whatever it is called. So what's the time? 37 minutes. We'll have enough time for stenciling. There's going to be some quick stenciling, guys. <laughs> so otherwise <laughs> I'll be still down here for four, four, four. So now I need, I'm lucky, I've got a, another plate here. So I'm going to, I need another hand. Sorry, guys. I'm going, to, I'm going to put that down here for now. So I'm just going to get some of the paint on here. You know, this is obviously, this is far too much. So I'm going to load my stencil brush. I'm going to rub it into the brush. and I'm offloading it onto this plate to have barely any paint on here. And then I'm going to do the stenciling. There's just not enough room here. It's just not enough room here. I don't need scissors. I need a, I need another hand. So, and now I'm just going to go, I'm probably going to leave those edges out. I'm going to let it fade out to the edges, actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm letting it fade out. This is just going to be perfect for this, um, for this look we are going for anyway. But I think I'm going to take it down for that. If I want to let it play out, I'm going to take it down so it doesn't move on me. Just going to get some painter's tape. Sit. Put that down there. There we go. So, hardly any paint on here. And I'm going to go in a dabbing motion, offloading the brush. I know there are some, um, this is, this stencil brush is by Da Vinci, this is a German, this is a German, um, they do artist brushes, a German brush company, hi Betty, <laughs> yes it is, but I know there are some wax brushes which are just about, um, they do, the main thing is for a stencil brush is that they have like a flat, uh, a flat front. I know there are some wax brushes, which um, just gonna go like this, um, which are as wide. Ooh. So Betty, thank you for joining us. It is almost midnight over here. Just one hour to go. So, but I didn't want to miss my. My life with you guys. And I said we don't, we are not allowed to have any fireworks over here, so I am doing my own firework. Grab some more paint up there. The stenciling I'm doing with the fluff and the the colors we are used. Oh my god, Linda. Yes, Linda. This is, uh, the brushes from them are amazing. Oops, that was too juicy. Not loaded enough, but never mind. I'm, I'm using the, the dabbing motion because I don't want to have too much bleed through. You know, guys, I never go for the perfect, um, the perfect, 
perfect pleat look. But I don't want to have too much pleat through, so I'm dabbing it up and down to whoops. If I would wipe it like this, I would uh, probably wipe it under the under the stencil. So that's what I don't want to do. This is, I think this is going to work out pretty fine, even around those edges here. It's going to be a little juicy, a little bleed through on the edges as the stencil doesn't go down there nicely, but um, that'll be fine. That's what we're going for. So, neighbors are probably thinking, what on earth is going on there? So, um, yes, I do, Grete. It is in my shop. I have it in my shop. It's under the Da Vinci um, brushes. I think this is actually the, it's the 113. It's uh, from Da Vinci, the brush 113, and it's a size 24. So. That's a big one. I've got a small one, which is the 12, and this is the, the thick one. So, first coat, guys. Dry it quickly, and then I'm going to do a second coat. And I'm going to reveal it so you can basically see what I mean. And it fits through at the end. So, hi, Magdalena. Yes, Magdalena, you're now behind us. Hi, Ronnie. Where are we watching from, Ronnie? <clears throat> so we'll grab some more of the fluff. Dixie Belle does several whites. Fluff is my personal favorite white. They have cotton, which is um, the whitest, the whitest, the whitest white, if, you, if that makes sense. Cotton is the whitest white, and then they have the they have the fluff, which goes a little bit into the probably a bit juicy. And the fluff is a little bit of an aged white going into the, the grayish direction. The drop gloss is an aged white, which goes into the creamy. Direction. So the fluff is is my my favorite. It's my favorite white. It's not too bright. I really like it. So um, hi Gloria. Hi to Kentucky. Is it Michelle? Seems like we have a lot of in common, don't we? We hope one day we can meet. Meet all up. You never know. It might be. But the times will change again. There will come time to do some speed dancing now. So the edges will be a little juicy, probably because the sensor doesn't lay down there because of this um, spray of the table. <laughs> Anybody walks past here now, they probably say, What the heck is happening? So, just kind of go around quickly, quickly. Let's see. Offload the brush. I don't want to have it too juicy. I'm going to have too much paint under the stencil. If you want to avoid completely bleed through, you can um, do the first layer with just either a clear coat, one of the top coats, a clear 
coat or you seal it off or you use the color you've used underneath which is uh, also here because we've used loads of colors so we will probably compromise the things underneath so <laughs> yes i'm killing somebody yes i'm killing that bloody virus that's what i thought i said killing that bloody So this is my thought for today, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be absolutely shattered afterwards. Yes, I'm getting my workout tonight, Betty. That's correct. So, um, yes, when you join late, we are doing our own fire work here, so to say. And um, this video will be up for replay. So, uh, and also, if you watch replay, put hashtag replay into the comments. Happy to see where you all watch from, guys. So, there we go. Almost finished. A few more banging, banging, and banging. So, that's fine. Doesn't need to be perfect. That's good to go. Let's reveal it. Gonna lift that up now. Tape, oops, tape off first. So, guys, there we go. What do you think? Obviously, we're going to do some more up here, and the frame is going to be nice and black. So, um, <laughs> to start sparking, thinking someone's at the front door. <laughs> That's it, yeah. So, um, absolutely. So, as I said, the stencil is going to go one step further up, you know, so the whole table is going to be covered in it. So, um, thank you. <laughs> so this is, uh, as I said, this is my personal firework. Um, I've been doing myself just like you can see, like all the colors peeking through, um, underneath so this is basically the idea you know you have to imagine that the whole piece is like covered in the hands twos hi andy mach ich danke schön <laughs> so um yeah that's my last thing for 2020 my last live with you guys i thank you so much for being with me and following me and um supporting me um uh, hang on. I'm going to break my neck any second with all those cables around. I've got to get into view so you can see me. I'm going to bring you down. Oh. There we go. There we go, guys. Here we are. Here we are. So, Instagram. Thank you all so, so much. Let me put it down. That was a hell of a year. Um, different technique. I'm struggling again. <laughs> but hi, Lisa. And to you, blessings to you also. That's sweet. <laughs> Correctly. I've been beating my way out of 2020. So, guys, um, again, I thank you so much that you've been with me this year. Um, I really hope for all of us that the next year is going to be, you know, a lot better. It can only get better. So this year was like, uh, for, for a lot of us, uh, pretty, pretty difficult. The main thing now is to stay healthy, my friends. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, um, seeing you next year. Um, it's now, well, one hour and 10 minutes to go over here to the new year. Um, wherever you are. When you don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a premier retailer for Dixiebel over here in Europe, in Germany, actually, right in the middle, um, in Frankfurt. 
And uh, yeah, this is my last live in 2020. I'm happy that you joined me when you watch replay, put hashtag replay into the comments. Und für dich, meine süße kleine Jenny. Und um, yeah, I see you next year, guys. Stay healthy. You have a great evening. And uh, I'm sure next year, New Year's Eve will be a lot more fun than this year with us sitting on the set here in pyjamas. So um, wherever you are, I'm thinking of you. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next year. You take care. And uh, whenever you need any help, just reach out to me. Okay? Take care, guys. Cheers.